Hey, KB with you. Uh, I want to talk to you today about the welterweight Mount Rushmore. Okay, a lot of people talking about this today. Um, who could possibly be on the Mount Rushmore of welterweights? And people have lots of opinions on this. So I want to kind of give the main four that people are thinking of. And I'd love for you to comment on who you think should be on there and why they should or shouldn't be on there. So, you know, obviously a lot of people think Matt Hughes, the record was 46 and 9, debuted at UFC 22. That was all the way back in September of 1999. His last fight in the UFC was at UFC 135. That was in September of 2011. Wins over Sarah and GSP and, of course, Trigg, uh, Henzo. So, you know, Matt is one of the guys that is just beloved and definitely is one that everybody thinks of as just one of the dominant champions from the early earlier days of the UFC. Because, like I said, he debuted at UFC 22. Then along comes George St. Pierre, and this one, to, you know, is the lock, is potentially the GOAT. You could also leave your comments in there. 26 and 2 is his record. He debuted at UFC 46 in January of 2004 with a win over Carol Parisi. And the last time we saw him, UFC 217, of course, the win over Michael Bisbing when he took the middleweight title, which he then vacated. But still, of course, GSP has massive wins over, you know, Nick Diaz and Johnny Hendricks and uh, Hardy and, and uh, Alves, BJ, Hughes, Sarah, you know. So George is one of the guys that everybody really thinks of as, I think, the dominant champion there. Uh, only lost twice, you know what I mean? So then, you know, Tyron. So a lot of people, I think, get really upset about Tyron because of what has, you know, transpired over the last few fights. But if you remember, his record is 19 and 7 and 1. You know, debuted at UFC 156 in, 2000, in uh, February of 2013. I was there. That's when he came out and blasted Jay Haran, who is also a friend of ours. And we were like, oh, I hate to do that to you. I know Tyron was upset to do that to him, but uh, it was an incredible debut. So T. Wood has beaten Condit. He has beaten... Uh, 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 Robbie Lawler, he has beaten Kelvin, he has beaten Wonder Boy, he's beaten Till, he's beaten Maya. So you need to put some respect on the name there because uh, that's somebody that shouldn't be written off just because he's lost some fights. So he is still one of the people who has made a big, big, big imprint on the welterweight division. Of course, then up along comes Kamaru Usman, who's 18 and 1 right now. And, you know, he's won 13 in a row after he won the Ultimate Fighter. That was in 2015. And he beat Hyder Hassan for that. So he won the Ultimate Fighter. And then he hasn't lost since. And, of course, he's got wins over Jorge, who he's fighting again. Uh, but wins over Colby, Tyron, Damian Maya, RDA, Leon Edwards. So, you know, is Kamaru already going to be up there on the Mount Rushmore? So I need to know what you think. Leave your comments below uh, just on who you think should be on the Mount Rushmore. And if you want to say who you think should be the GOAT as well. So uh, enjoy the festivities at UC 261. See ya.